partner is faithful. Local 10's Matt Lorch introduces us to a private investigator who works full time catching cheaters in the act. A gotcha moment caught on camera. Oh, I'm hoping he comes out the back so he doesn't notice my car too much. Tonight's stakeout begins with a private investigator who goes by Lance. Hired by the wife of this guy who suspects he may be cheating. You got him? We trail him from work. He stops at a gas station, takes a call on his cell phone so we know he has one. Then he goes over and dials up from a pay phone. Clearly suspicious. Next, he stops at a drugstore and comes out with something small in a plastic bag. The husband hops in his SUV, pulls out of the parking lot, and does a series of unnecessary U-turns. Uh, that nearly shakes the P.I. Uh, that's him? Back on the trail to a house in Southwest Miami-Dade, where he picks up a woman who's not his wife. He takes her to the Hooters on 87th Avenue in Doral. They hold hands walking into the restaurant, then they walk arm in arm. He makes his way behind her to rub her shoulders. Once inside the restaurant, they share a few drinks. It's suspicious, yes, but not enough to prove he's cheating. They leave the restaurant once again, walking arm in arm. They drive to Tropical Park, pull into a parking space and park the car. But on this night, privacy is hard to find. Within seconds, a security guard pulls up and tells them to leave. Yeah, we are at the, uh, at the back of a strip mall here. A true romantic. They park behind the mall at 77th Avenue in Bird Road. He gets out, walks around the SUV. Being a true gentleman, opens the door for his mistress. Then they both get into the back seat. 13 minutes pass until you see him hop out of the car, then buckle up his pants. For the PI, it's mission accomplished. And then when you finally get that shot where you're like, oh, the client's gonna be pleased, that, that just makes it, you know, that just says, okay, we, we got what the client was looking for. She gets out, the two embrace, then lean up against the SUV for some more kissing. It's when a car drives by, deer in the headlights. Casanova decides it's time to call it a night. Now comes the difficult part, showing his wife the tape. So some clients cope with it very well, some don't. President of Detectives USA, Mitch Abreu. We like to say bad news is good news. You know, we give them that bad news that in the end turns out to be peace of mind and it helps them turn the page and move forward with their life, you know? Wondering if his wife was fooling around. Yeah. It's gonna drive you crazy if you don't find out. This man, who doesn't want to reveal his identity for obvious reasons, hired a private investigator. On the second day of surveillance, caught her in the act at Mango's on Ocean Drive. You can tell that they were kissing, they were actually making out and touching each other and parts that friends wouldn't be touching each other. Another gotcha moment, enough for him to confront his wife and enough embarrassment for her to part ways without asking for any of his assets. So I told her, listen, I want a divorce and don't think you're gonna get anything because you're not. So cheaters be warned, the seemingly intimate moments at the restaurant and elsewhere may not be so private after all. If you're wondering, the average infidelity investigation costs about $1,000. Now, a little quiz for you. Who do you think cheats more, men or women? Well, statistics vary, but according to the private investigators we spoke with, they're equally guilty. But there are some differences in how they cheat. Men tend to be sneaky. They look over their shoulders, sit in the back of restaurants. Usually, they don't show affection in public. Every meeting is on the sly. Women, on the other hand, tend to be obvious, willing to hug and kiss in public, open to attending events in public places, despite the risk of running into someone they know.